investigation, which was started after the death of a boy who jumped into the North Platte River last summer to save his friend. And News 13 was at the launch of the campaign today that's making life jackets available to anyone. Basically, I appreciate everybody getting together doing this. Kind of wish it had been sooner, the stuff going around. Last summer, 11-year-old Alex Cressy swam into a strong current to save his friend who was struggling in the water. The friend was rescued downstream, but Alex never resurfaced. His body was found days later in the North Platte River. I feel like it's kind of stupid how they did all this after he died. I mean, there's a saying, you can change your future, but why can't you change it now? The family wishes something was done sooner to prevent this tragic accident, and so do members of the community who pulled together to ensure this would never happen again. I walked into city council and asked them to try to do something, come up with a plan to get us spearheaded in the right direction. Ryan Perry and many others took charge in joining the Respect Our River campaign to help do something so no more lives are lost in vain. That's the reason why we're here is because people were not wearing a life jacket and so we want them to wear a jacket so there's no reason why someone should not be wearing a jacket. Now five life jacket stations with kids and adult sizes have been placed in popular areas along the river in hopes of preventing another family from going through a loss like the Cressies. Our baby jumped in to save that little boy and, you know, if, if we would have had those life jackets or those throw ropes or, you know, whatever, then he might still be here with us today. Now the Respect Our River Committee is asking any groups in the community to come forward and volunteer their time to help restock the jackets as they become low by bringing them from the fire station to the designated area. They're doing a great job.